Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Training here. Uh, today it's Wednesday, April 10th. I'll be going over my recap for today. Uh, so I did three trades today, um, three greens, three for three. Uh, traded INPX and SRNE. Um, I'll, I'll also be talking about ATAI, uh, which I missed because um, I kind of walked away um, after these trades that I did. Um, so the first trade I did was, uh, I think it was SRNE. So SRNE, it had a, a long opportunity. Um, so what I saw was, so on the daily, uh, it had good context to go higher here. So it had a gap and then um, it was holding higher low here. Um, so I felt like there was a um, opportunity for, for long. So initially what I saw here was this uh, break of this down downtrend here and it break over. Uh, I went long there um, and then it retested um, VWAP uh, 450 area. So when I saw that I held, um, my my initial stop was uh, just below VWAP or this pivot point here, uh, 48. Um, so it it held. So I, I held on to my position and um, it broke the highs here and then uh, towards high of day. So my first target was uh, the high of day. Uh, and then I saw it was kind of a little bit extended um, on the minute chart. So I, I just took it off um, for a $66, $66 win. Um, and then it ended up uh, fading away. I actually located some shorts here, but I didn't take any um, short opportunity here. But this could have been a trigger here if you're looking for um, the VWAP break and the inverted cup and handle. Um, so my next trade was INPX. So INPX, I did two trades. Um, the first trade I did was um, I saw this flag break here um, on the downside. Um, and then there was this. So I went ahead and long, went long here with my wrist off of uh, this downtrend um, line. Uh, when it broke, the volume was uh, really low. Um, so I just took it off and this was just a quick uh, $12 winner. Um, and then uh, after it fell to hold and I think it was tr uh, 48 here, um, it was holding support here at 48 you can see that it's trying to hold 48. So 48 was a key area uh, and it was creating these uh, lower uh, highs. So when I saw that, um, I went ahead and with my risk, I went ahead and sh uh, started short. So SSR was on, so uh, SSR is short sell restriction. So um, you cannot hit the bid um, to get into position. You have to be in the offer. So I got in a little early, um, just to anticipate this uh, 48 crack, uh, just to get in the stock. Um, and then my risk was um, the 160 area. Um, so when this one retested this trend line here, uh, that was my new risk at the 155. Um, so I ended up breaking um, the 148 area, and then I ended up taking some profits at 140. Um, and then at 130 and then took the rest off when it broke above the 130 MA um, and then this actually uh, if you can see it actually t uh, went all the way down to the 60 minute uh, the hourly chart 90 MA so that was the, the, the final target for me uh, but it ended up uh, trailing, trailing all the way back down to like 110 um, so I'll talk about ATAI. So ATAI, um, it had a huge break here off this long uh, trend here. Um, it, this was a great setup uh, that I missed. So you can see this was acting uh, resistance and it had support and then it broke. So this little cup and handle break. Uh, and then that was a good uh, long position there at this uh, 2 to 80 area. Um, 
and then it, it kind of rip and squeezed out a bunch of bunch of shorts. Um, went all the way to a high of 450. So this we should see another another move here uh, tomorrow. Um, I'll be watching it for uh, either bias, long or short. But uh, I did three trades today, uh, up overall of $159. Um, so yeah, as always, um, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Okay, bye bye.